Hello, everyone. This is Captain Gibber Lee speaking from Taipei, Taiwan. Today, I want to start new series about the radar presentation, which the current radars, how to say, presentation is not so ideal. To give enough information to the navigator on the bridge, so this 50 years ago technology need to improve itself to shoot for our usage on the bridge, because now already 21 century. Why everybody accept the substandard 50 years ago? Presentation on the radar. Instead, with the help of the upper system to make the decision. Actually, we see in many cases, in a hurry, emergency, nobody have the time to check the upper data. Actually, it is useless. Now we will start our discussion from the basic setting of the radar. Now we can see, currently on ship is heading zero nine zero point seven degree. Speed is thirteen point three knots. And uh, there was important setting of the vector lens is true motion with six minutes distance run. And uh, the trail means the. Faster position of the echo is true motion with three minutes setting. Okay, when we started at this picture for discussion, there were two vessel going the same direction in a traffic separation scheme, and the one vessel trying to go in northbound. Which we see a recon echo on the radar screen, but、uh, where is the recon? Already emerged in the C cluster, so this is an acceptable. Even if the radar cannot distinguish the echo strength in a close range like this, but it is possible. For the radar to detect the different strengths of echo and to distinguish the C cluster or the recon echo, so this should be assigned one recon shape on the radar, which. This position can be verified by the GPS of onship and the recon GPS. So this is one thing for fixed object at the sea. The radar screen should always provide enough information. And secondly, for the mobile target at the sea. Like this one on the bearing of one two six, and the heading about zero two five degree. The speed. Actually, this picture is the same picture as last last one. Only we add some automatic. Presentation of the target course and the speed based on the per past three minutes trail on the radar screen. So this purple arrow indicate the mobile target speed and the course is automatic. Generate, not by the upper auto plotting or the 
duty officers. Menu acquired of the target. Because of what any target close within three nautical miles is a potential collision target. So the radar system should automatically show up her proper course and speed. And this speed vector's length is the same as we setting with the radar setting six minutes. This six minutes speed vector is based on this mobile target past three minutes trace to create. Secondly, we add one warning dot at the asthma circle of the radar screen. This is a important indication of collision risk. Whether the true bearing or the relative bearing of the target have been changed since we the radar automatic plot on this collision stick or the speed vector. So what we can see now is after three minutes distance run with send two overtaking target and one crossing target at the starboard side. And this is original radar presentation, which shows nothing for our reference. So we need the radar to act more wisely, even if the duty office didn't notice what had happened, and give the duty office proper collision indication. Once we get the attention of the duty office on a bridge again. So this is dynamic presentation of the radar screen. After initial three minutes automatic acquire tracing and protein. So right now this dynamic presentation have three minutes history on this picture. Firstly is the warning dot, which is the target's true bearing, a true indication of collision risk. After three minutes, this target bearing didn't leave in one to six degree. It means have collision risk. Also, this collision risk was confirmed by the collision stick, which was six minutes speed vector. The purple speed vector is automatic generate through the target's past the three minutes trail. So it may be not the real heading of the target, but what is predict position, speed, and cost of the target. We can see on ship speed vector and the target generate speed vector have one cross point which marked with red dot on the screen. This dot is exactly on our six minute speed vector's head. That means these two vessels will arrive this collision spot exactly after six minutes if both vessels didn't take any action. So also we have one light green line point at the target's Turn, which indicate 
the recommend course. In this case, it might be easier because only one target involving is the collision risk. But for a multiple target situation, the recommendation costs need to take more consideration. But anyway, this is the starting point for our discussion. So, the collision spot is obvious by the radar presentation. Now the duty office can consider his avoidance action to be reduced speed or auto course. Okay, this is after another three minutes. The radar screen on ship didn't auto course or change reduce speed maybe increase the speed a little bit by one knot and uh, this mobile target on our starboard side had outer coast but which was like small fish not sufficiently indicate what's the target's movement so in this short interval what the dynamic presentation radar should provide this information for duty office to reverence firstly we can see the target's bearing had changed from 125 to 140. This is a clear indication of the target while passing on ship astern. And this automatic generate collision stick of the target may be not reliable. But the radar manufacturer should overcome this deficiency. And the collision spot originally at 6 minute speed vector of on ship, now moving to on ship position, which means on ship can passing this vessel without the collision. Even if the radar can provide this dynamic presentation, if the duty office cannot understand what's the meaning of the radar presentation, it will be useless. So there were two indications of the collision risk. First is the true bearing of the target which change from 125 to 140, 50 degree. Actually was not so enough for this close range. Secondly is the collision spot, original showing on on ship speed vector. Right now moving to on ships a stern direction which indicate the collision risk or the collision point collision spot have moving past on ship okay right now is the picture after two minutes 14 35 minutes we see another important things in the Sanji's report, last three minutes, they check the target on the radar screen, but only see a small spot, look like very small vessel in the close range. So this total and acceptable. This situation must be 
rectified. Otherwise, the duty always officer will always miss took big vessel, small vessel in the close range, which cost their life. So if it's hard to distinguish large echo or small echo, but it's very easy to decide in when the target's range is three miles away. So once they establish the target as a big vessel or small vessel, they should assign one target shape to the specific target, which might be have the collision concern with own ship. This ship shape should represent the actual ship size. I think they can get the data from the AIS once the target is confirmed. The ship's length of all and his cost and the speed and the automatic present on the radar screen. Because this is 21 century, we cannot accept this old-fashioned presentation as granted as of course and put another seaman's life at the risk again. So this talk we conclude. Don't lose tucky size at close range and uh, automatic generate target cost and the speed and give the duty of his the correct response in the first glance of the screen, not use this CPA, TCPS, this kind of nonsense. So we discuss on next talk.